welcome to Grace Minute. Thank you for jumping on and joining me this Friday afternoon. I pray that you guys have had a wonderful week and it's such a blessing to be with you and uh, to share with you today's Grace Minute. Uh, today's Grace Minute is entitled, Be Joyful for Everything. Um, this Yesterday was my daughter's uh, sixth birthday. I mean, Lord, yesterday was the sixth. Yesterday was her 10th birthday. Um, we celebrated 10 years of life, and man, it was amazing. But um, in the beginning, we were thinking, you know, thinking, what, what, what can we do? Uh, you know, she knows that she's appreciated. She knows that she's loved. Um, but this, you know, for her, this is the 10th birthday. You know, what, what all can we do to make this a memorable birthday? And, um, we began to, we were thinking on it and, um, we quit thinking on it because it was becoming more so of an effort of ourselves rather than allowing the Holy Spirit, the great teacher to jump in and show us, Hey, you know, you can do this. So and when we quit think, when we, we quit thinking on it, uh, oh my goodness, revelation ideas just all started flowing. We did a little parade, and then we were like, well, you know, they have, there's those who um, may be in another, um, you know, family that's out of town. So we did the Zoom meeting, and it was so amazing. It was a, just so awesome. She had no idea, um, and she was just so ecstatic and just full of joy to see those who came by just to love on her and show um, you know, just to celebrate her birthday, to just to tell them that tell her that to show her that they love her and to come online and just say happy birthday. And the messages from you guys that flowed through, it just brought her joy. And the amazing thing is that I, I, my husband, and I was talking today, I was like, man, the simplest things. Um, it's amazing to see with ch our children, they're they just they are excited about the simplest things uh, we were laughing because with her at night the night before she usually is dreaming up what her breakfast is going to consist of so um i was talking to my husband i was like well you know probably want to make her her breakfast <laughs> because she's big on her breakfast and i was working so he whipped her up this um the things that she usually wanted and she was ecstatic and honestly, I think that she thought that was it. So she was like, yes, you know, like I've hit the ballpark with this. I got my big breakfast. But for her to see all of this love poured out, oh my goodness, it just, it warmed her heart. And um, I just wanted to say that because, you know, we, we, look, we look at the things that we, we expect so much. And a lot of times forget the, to appreciate the littlest things in life. Um, the, 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 it's not, we say the littlest things, but it's big things. Just waking up this morning and the Lord just breathing uh, life into us and us being able to get up and smile and look at the, our loved ones that are lying beside us and greet them in the morning. That right there is enough to praise God for because there are some that did not have that um, didn't have that ability to do this morning. They didn't know that last night was going to be the last time that they spoke to their loved ones. Um, in Romans fifteen thirteen, a New International Version, it says, "May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit." You know, we it's we we have to just thank God for those little things, the the littlest, the little things that He has blessed us with, and those those things. I mean, it's just amazing that when we dwell, when we we don't look at what we're expecting, but look at what we've been blessed with, the unexpectancy. Oh my goodness, when it hits you will appreciate it so much greater. Man, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for jumping on and joining me uh, today. 
I look forward to fellowshipping with you on Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m. Um, and via conference call, you can uh, call in for um, corporate prayer. And then we look, look forward to seeing you again on Monday at 3 o'clock p.m. for Grace Minute. You guys have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.